Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys predicted to make trade for explosive Texans RB, logical target. The Dallas Cowboys probably need a bit of an upgrade at the running back position. As the Cowboys prepare to enter training camp later this month, they'll do so with an underwhelming group of running backs. Dallas added veteran backs Ezekiel Elliott and Royce Freeman during the offseason, but neither served as a full-time starting running back last season. The rest of the Cowboys' depth chart is rounded out by inexperienced runners such as Deuce Vaughn, Malik Davis, and Rico Dowdle. Neither running back has ever started a game during their professional career. Careers. In other words, there is no clear-cut favorite to start at running back for the Cowboys. Bleacher reports Alex Ballantini makes a bold prediction that Dallas will make a move for a running back before the season, with Ballantini projecting that the Cowboys trade for an establisher runner, such as the Houston Texans, Damian Pierce. A trade might make more sense. Damian Pierce would be a logical target, writes Ballantini. He had a successful rookie season with the Houston Texans, but ceded his role to Devin Singletary last season. And the Texans acquired Joe Mixon this offseason. Texans could consider Damian Pierce trade after disappointing year. Pierce is a young 24-year-old running back and is just entering his third season in the NFL. However, he emerged as one of the NFL's best rookie running backs in 2022 when he ran for 939 yards on 4.3 yards per carry as the Texans' starting running back. His rushing yards ranked third among all rookie running backs. Bleacher Report's Derek Clawson described Pierce as a stout, explosive runner coming out of the draft. However, he fell out of favor during an absolutely rough 2023 season, despite the Texans emerging as a playoff contender under the leadership of rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud, Pierce struggled on his way to 2.9 yards per carry, the lowest rushing average among all qualifying runners last season. Pierce posted just 416 rushing yards on 145 carries with two touchdowns during the 2023 season. Pierce started seven games before eventually losing his starting job to Devin Singletary. While Singletary is no longer a member of the Texans, Houston did acquire former Cincinnati Bengals pro bowler Joe Mixon via trade. While Mixon is a bit on the older side. He'll be 28 years old this season. He still projects as the starter, with Pierce as the backup. Why Cowboys should consider Damian Pierce trade while the Texans could very well retain Pierce considering Mixon's usage since 2017, he has served as a starting back for the past seven seasons. They could also capitalize on acquiring some draft capital by trading with a running back needy team such as the Cowboys. Considering Mixon, who has been a consistent starter for a number of years, was acquired for just a seventh-round pick, it's hard to envision Pierce costing much more than that. Pierce is obviously four years younger with significantly less mileage on his body. That could lift the asking price to possibly a sixth-round draft pick. The Cowboys could very well go with a running back by committee game plan entering the season, but even that idea is underwhelming when considering Elliott averaged 3.5 yards per carry last season, started just one game since the 2019 season. If the Cowboys can acquire Pierce for a low draft pick, they absolutely make a deal for a young running back who would immediately emerge as their starter. Cowboys defense built to continue streak among top 10 teams with the most INTs in 2024. Since 2021, the Cowboys have found themselves in the top 10 list of defenses with the most INTs each season. Will they be able to do it again in 2024? Right now, all signs point to yes. One major sign is Darren Bland. Bland is coming off of a historical season, not only leading the NFL in INTs, but also being crowned as the NFL Pick 6 King. Stepping in for an injured Trevon Diggs, there was uncertainty around how well he would fill those shoes. With nine INTs and five Pick 6s, Bland stepped up to the plate and silenced all of the doubters, capping off the season with a first-team All-Pro nod and a trip to the Pro Bowl. While Bland scored more TDs than any other defensive player, and many offensive players at that, it could be argued that he was snubbed in the voting of the Defensive Player of the Year award, while no one could have anticipated that stellar of a year for Bland, let's not forget that he also had five INTs and eight starts in his rookie season. Looking to 2024, it may be outlandish to expect another jump from year two to year three. But if Bland is only able to produce a percentage of what he did last year, it will still be a great contribution to the team's int total. 
Another point working in the Cowboys' favor is the return of Trevon Diggs. Since Diggs entered the league in 2020, his experience as a WR has helped him become an INT machine. Along with being crowned the 2021 INT leader, he also earned a 2021 first-team All-Pro nod and two trips to the Pro Bowl, 2021 and 2022, just before his 2023 season was cut short with an ACL injury before Week 3, Diggs was showing flashes of dominance with a hit on a receiver that popped the ball into the air right into Bland's hands for an INT, and in Week 2 he snagged an interception for himself. While it is never certain that a player will bounce back quickly after those types of knee injuries, Diggs looks to be on track for his return at training camp later this month. A few workout videos have surfaced on Instagram that has a lot of people excited for Diggs' return. For the 2024 season, these two previous NFL Int leaders will get to play on the field together. If one were to come up with a blueprint on how to earn the most INTs in a season for their team, stacking int leaders would be a great place to start. Included in that blueprint would be the workings of defensive backs coach Al Harris. Interceptions by the Dallas Cowboys defense in the pre-Al Harris era from 2015 to 2019 were difficult to come by. There was only one season in that stretch where the entire defense totaled 10 INTs, the rest were even lower than that. Since Harris joined the Dallas Cowboys in 2020, that number has changed drastically. The DB's mindset shifted to that of a WR every time the ball is thrown in their direction. It is their ball to catch. In 2021, the defense led the league in INTs with 26 total. After coaching and developing Diggs and Bland into all pros, this season Harris has the opportunity to tap into the potential some of the other guys in the DB room. Names like Kalen Carson, Garen Conley, and Eric Scott Jr. are all still looking to reach their full potential. If anyone is able to bring it out of them, it would be Harris. One of the best decisions the Cowboys' front office made this offseason was to ensure that Harris remained on the coaching staff that included a promotion to assistant head coach. The Al Harris effect turned this DB group into int fiends, and it is expected that it will carry into the 2024 season. The rest of the secondary is filled with guys who are also known to make plays on the ball. Jordan Lewis in the slot is looking back to form after his foot injury that occurred on a play where he had an INT in 2022. After not knowing if he would be able to mentally and physically play again, he is back with a second chance to reach his peak. In the safety room, guys like Malik Hooker and Donovan Wilson are no strangers to INTs themselves, each logging five INTs since joining the Cowboys. The Cowboys have coasted in the top 10 defenses with the most INTs in the past three seasons. Sitting atop that list with 26 in 2021, tied at 7th in 2022 with 16 INTs, and tied at 8th in 2023 with 17 INTs. Everything is in place for that trend to continue in 2024. It might even be surprising if they don't make the top 5, but like always, time will tell.